got to tell you, for the most part, I've got great patients and great clients, and I have been working with people for quite a while now who I really like working with. And, and I like the variety. I like the fact that I try to get rid of patients as soon as possible, that I graduate clients and that they become friends and we have an ongoing interaction and we progress personal development and group goals even further each time with each new enrollment. I like that. Still, there are days when you kind of wish that you can get more of the same kind of client. No, no, I don't mean the same kind of person. I mean, there's a kind of client that you just really like working with that you wish you could have more of. Like, can I work with more of people who happen to be like that that, that, that person? Like, like, can I have more of you? Like, can I have more friends like you? Like, can I have more colleagues? Like, can I have more coaches? Can I do consulting work with more people like that ideal person? Well, this is about that. You see, what we're going to do today, and I suggest you get a sheet of paper and a pen and really sit with this, because what we are going to do is figure out who your ideal client is so you can have more of that ideal client because if you aren't tuned to what you're looking for it's really harder to find what you're looking for it's like when you get aware of a certain kind of look or a certain kind of car or a certain kind of personality or a certain kind of dress style or a certain kind of person when you're tuned to that you see more of it like seriously buy a new car and then eventually you'll notice that everybody seems to be driving the same car it, it, it's it's a matter of focus it's a matter of attention queuing in relevance and therefore bringing in more of the same thing that you're now tuned to so the basic idea is if you know what you're looking for you'll see more of it and here i, I venture to say that it's possible to figure out who your ideal client is so you can have more interactions with your ideal client. So the basic notion is, and <laughs> I've pushed this away for some time because I've had difficulty with it, like creating the ideal and I've pushed the notion further and further away and set it aside for the longest time. Because it was just, it just felt so tedious trying to figure out what they called the perfect customer avatar. Meaning, what's the ideal set of things you should have in the client you most desire to have working with you? And it was such, such a struggle because it felt so hypothetical, so theoretical. Until a couple of weeks ago, I figure out a way so that the basic notion became effortless. And this is what I'm going to share with you. The effortless way to create a customer avatar. And this has been a long delayed video. It showed up again in my mind a couple of weeks ago. And then yesterday when another marketer brought up what essentially is a coaching question, she asked, who are you already working with? And that's kind of the gist of the idea I hit on because I was looking at it from the wrong way until a couple of weeks ago, it just occurred to me, wait a minute, I don't need to create an ideal customer avatar because I'm already working with people I already like. And if you start from there, who are you already actually serving that you actually enjoy working with that you actually get satisfaction out of that interaction with who you produce great results for meaning you are producing value that is actually used you are meeting value with person who actually appreciates the value you bring and 
they push it forward. So let me say that in reverse. I was trying to figure out by example for certain aspects of what I do, like I do coaching. Who's the actual perfect client? Because that's a, that's, that's a marketing question. You figure out who your ideal client is so you can attract more of that ideal client. And I've been ignoring the fact that for the longest time, I've been working with clients who I actually like. And so the reverse engineering is just so much easier now. Let me give you an example. At the clinic where I help people overcome or get rid of or manage out of pain of all sorts, but mainly bones, joints, the inability to walk or move properly, severe migraine headaches, unimproved by medications, and physical or somatic conditions not improved by physical or manual therapy, and well, you get the idea. All sorts of pain. It's a stretch for me to try and figure out who my ideal patient is, but if I look at who I actually work with, and here's what it's like. Most of the patients I see are like 55 and above. They're largely female, and they largely initially come in for back pain, the inability to stand. In particular, we're talking about low back pain and recently whole lot of sciatica and piriformis syndrome essentially have crippling difficulty to stand low back pain okay and, and most of them can hardly stand or walk 55 female they've been around the other doctors nothing has worked nothing has helped nothing has helped for long term they're tired and frustrated some of them have been to spine institutes uh, New York and Singapore some of them have flown in from Canada or the US or some of them have been around locally checking out all the other doctors and <laughs> they genuinely aren't doctor shopping. They're just desperately looking for an answer. And that's one kind of patient, okay? And already it's filled in, 55 and up, female in severe pain, unimproved by other interventions or medications and visits with other doctors, long-term frustration, and they've tried everything and they want to have something finally work. That's one kind of client I already deal with. These are patients I already see. I don't have to invent the avatar. It's a tendency. Let me give you another example. I tend to get a lot of elite athletes and <laughs> it's really funny if I look at the profile of some of the cream of the crop like top level country elites for not just here I get male <laughs> 30 and up 32, like 55, who are theoretically, physically past their prime, but who are still doing incredibly well with their discipline and their training. They outclass, outgun, outshine newer elite athletes who are able to perform at extraordinary levels, not by genius of prowess and training, but just as a function of they're younger and they heal faster. And funnily enough, these elite clients, they don't like to tell other elite players that they see me. <laughs> it's like, and I found this out from a friend of mine. He said, dude, you know what your problem is? And this is a friend of mine who's one of the most amazing physical therapists on planet Earth, pain specialist, friend of mine, physical therapist, who for this video will not be named. <laughs> he said, you know what your problem is, dude? He said, what? I go. And he said, 
your patients don't like telling each other that they see you. And I thought about it for a moment. Right. Yeah, I have elite patients and they don't tell each other about me. That's really weird. And they don't announce it on social media or they'll take snapshots of treatments but never say who it is they've seen. And a few days later, they're just better or they win championships and they're somehow mystically, magically improved. So, 30 to 55, male, elite, top 1% to 3% of countries for games in which the newer breed of athletes just don't cut it yet because of lack of discipline. But these patients, because, well, they're not that young anymore and they've accumulated a lot of damage through the years, they need help. So there, another customer avatar that I didn't need to invent because I'm already seeing that kind of client. Is this making sense so far? Let's take it into coaching. I do something called focus coaching, which is essentially a productivity set of coaching calls or coaching meetings and interactions where I help people overcome stumbling blocks in their productivity or in their getting things done. And usually the culprit or the enemy is some form of procrastination or setting things aside. And if I look at who I usually see in this group, <laughs> they're usually a younger set of clients. We're starting at 25 to 55, they're actually functional, they're actually doing well. Some of them are magnets of industry. Some of them are up and comings in their work who have a lot of potential, but who find themselves delaying things they should be taking care of and just overwhelmed by overthinking so much so that the thing that's in their way is, well, discipline, habits, scheduling, and overthinking. So, let me cluster that together. Professional. Peak of their field. 25. Males and females. To 55. Captains of teams or affect teams and they want to be more productive. They're overwhelmed, they're stressed. They can do so much more if they weren't in their own way or if they weren't overthinking things or if they had a system in place. So much so that they already knew what to do, what to focus on starting first thing in the morning so that so much more got done even in the morning, so much so that they had the rest of the day take care of smaller things and the occasional fire rather than just firefighting and waiting for crap to hit the fan all the time. That's another avatar. I don't have to figure that out. I already know who I already see and I can pick along that profile of when I see it. Oh, this is someone I can work with that I can deliver genuine valuable results with, who will like working with me, who will get a lot from me, and who will take it further with me, and who will refer me to other people because, like me, they just enjoy the interaction and what they're getting done that they couldn't get done before. And that's it for focus and productivity coaching. Yeah? Another example. For limitless coaching, it's people who know for a fact already that the limiting factor is here and here that the limiting factor is themselves in their software and they've tried everything they've tried supposed visualization and meditation and your linguistic programming and hypnosis and nothing quite cuts it they hit a barrier and they can't get beyond it and they're not as productive as they would like to be or they're not just as peaceful as they're supposed to be 
or they have really important things to do and they've got to get their shit together or they've already gotten their shit together but want to take it further and this last class is a group that I particularly like to work with so let me cluster that together usually 25 to 35 predominantly male quite often works with businesses or in stocks or in trading sometimes happens to be an author or a software engineer and sometimes captains or magnets of industry and what they have in common is they can do everything else but they just can't seem to get to peace of mind and a better experience of life and they've tried the gamut of mental technology they've tried supposed meditation visualization motivation your linguistic programming healing techniques energetic stuff and hypnosis or hypnotherapy and counseling of all forms and sources and cognitive behavioral therapy and stuff they've picked up from various religions which are generally usefully actually helpful and not just wheezy scary stuff and they seem and feel that they tried everything but they just can't get the peace of mind and a clear head and a better experience of life and there it is the perfect avatar set that I could just choose like a card spread from for who my ideal client is for clarity coaching for insight coaching or for limitless coaching or for the limitless course this is starting to make sense yet here's the basic formula figure out who you're already actually helping and if you've just started out as a coach a trainer a therapist a practitioner of some sort or a consultant who have you liked working with even if it was pro bono in the past that you've actually produced genuine results for who do you like working with who do you accidentally help even if no money or exchange is truly involved and you just really wanted to help and you really helped them and they really made something for themselves from the interaction you did and start from there <laughs> so we've looked at an easy way to reverse engineer creating a customer avatar so much so that your reticular activating system your awareness your focus is able to pick out these clients instantly and you know you can make the offer on the spot and you know what offer to make so much so that it's like being magnetic to clients so you create the kind of clients you want easily more easily on demand and you can create a schedule for it and you can figure out how many clients <laughs> and exactly what kind of client you'd like to see more of so you get more of that and you get more satisfaction of the work you do as a coach consultant trainer and if you like if you've enjoyed this little discussion this little sharing this little set of epiphanies that i've had and you'd like to take it further and you're figuring out how to do marketing for yourself if you're figuring out how to be a coach and if you actually have a genuine talent or skill set or presence or ability set if you genuinely want to help people and you can genuinely help people and you have genuinely helped people but you can't seem to automate it in such a way that it takes care of itself i mean left and right i see coaches who genuinely have something to share but cannot for the life of them get their practice to pay their bills well if that's you or if you've hit a wall and you want to do better and enjoy more of your time with less clients but the very best clients that you can genuinely help we've got 
courses for this for client creation that you might like to check out and people to look up would include well shoot us an email 4h dot marketer at gmail.com and on facebook and the interwebs you can look for my good friend ken ken somera so i hope this has been useful and like comment share ask and we'll try to get around and help you out cheers coaches